Hello and welcome to round four of the Brighton Tower Trust with me, Rebecca Gillard, and joined us by Richard Walker. Hello. Oh, and we're recording this on a lovely bank holiday Monday after an afternoon of pims and yummy stuff in the afternoon. So, yeah. Rebecca's had too many. I might have had slightly too many, but it's fine. It's good, right? I'm okay. You're okay. You're sane. You can, like, commentate and tell everyone what's actually happening, right? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe. Cool. Talk us through setups. All right. Well, Hadley on the left, he's playing Lanny Red Door Tower of the Hand. So you can imagine what that's going to be like. And uh, the fact that he's set up Shagger and Gates of the Moon indicates <laughs> he's going to be playing a clansman theme of Tower of the Hand. I like clansmen. So, yeah, that seems good. And Florian Hess uh, is playing Lanny something. Lanny Wolf. Lanny Wolf, is it? Yeah. It says it on the screen. Oh, yeah. Well, it said Florian Hess Noble Cause. Well, no, it said Florian Hess Lanny Wolf. Right, anyway, so he's got the perfect yeah. setup of Tywin, Reducer, and Western Fiefdom. Definitely cheated to get that. Uh, everyone cheats when they get that. Yeah. If you set up a perfect setup like that, you must have been cheating. Of course. Definitely. There's no other way of. No, no other logical reasoning, right? <laughs> Sorry, come on. Carry on, I'm done. Oh. I'm just set. I talked you through the setup. Oh. Maybe you could talk us through the plot, Rebecca. I can do that. So, plots. Hadley has played uh, Time of Plenty on the left, and Florin has played Alt Art Noble Cause on the right. Oh, wow. This is such a t- 2017 setup. <laughs> I know, right? Um, and Florin is going first in this game. Um, so, these are um, both sort of. I think they're trying to like do well, but also a little bit achievements too. But by this round, basically, everyone who's been trying to do achievements has achieved most of the achievements that they're probably going to be getting. Mm. So not going to be seeing very many achievements this game. But can I just say, because I always think this, hasn't Hadley got the most amazing name? Hadley Moon? That's not his name. What do you mean that's not his name? That's not his name. Yeah, it is. I'm not. Well, that's what's on Jousting Pavilion. Hadley Lacey. Is it actually his name? Yeah. Is it really? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, that's so depressing. I was really excited about his name. I was like, wow, he sounds like a fictional character. I was expecting him to appear as a ninja with swords and shit and start fighting people. I don't know, perhaps that is his name. Maybe the other one was a fake name, but I'm fairly sure he was not that before, back in the day. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I was so excited about his name. It just ruined my dreams here. Yeah, I am always disappointed. I'm still trying to get you to sing, which you promised that you were going to do. And you're just like, nah, I'm not going to sing. I'm going to be boring. I don't so, yeah. care. <laughs> I don't care. Oh, no, it's actually... Oh, Hadley, you arsehole. I thought Lacey wasn't your real name. I thought Moon was your name. And you're actually coming up as a Lacey. Cool. God damn it. I need to call him God damn it Lacey then. <laughs> <laughs> Florian has marshaled everything Why in not? what does not appear to be an achievement deck. So he's got Jamie duped, Tyrion with a bodyguard, he's got Shay, two chuds for claim, and some significant economy. He's in a really good position to win the Definitely game. Definitely cheated. Maybe. Probably not. But you know, it's funny to say he did. That, not very nice thing to say about people, Rebecca, accusing them of being cheaters. Oh, we know he didn't really cheat, but you know, it's one of those setups and things when it's like, yeah, oh, they must have cheated to get that kind of setup. Even though you know they probably didn't really, but you know. Keys? <laughs> okay. So, Hadley had played out Harren Hall. Ooh, so you got the Harren Hall Tower of the Hand combo, which is. Nice. Florian will know that this is powerful because Florian is a Lannister loyalist. I was just about to say, but he's not playing Lanny, but he is. He is definitely <laughs> playing Lanny. Not seen any of these wolf cards yet. Then saying that, if he's playing wolf, surely that's going to be the Botley themed, right? With Harren Hall and Roos? That's why you bring in Wolf to Lanny, right? Um, maybe. Oh, not Botley. Bolton. Yes. No, I'm there. <laughs> no wonder you look so confused. I am really confused. <laughs> I'm trying to think of all the Botley that's in Stark, and there are no Botley in Stark. Let's, let's start again. Surely, if he's playing Lanny Wolf, it's because of the Bolton themed, right? <laughs> With Iron Hall. Maybe. That's, that's why you bring in Wolf to Lanny, though, right? What else would you bring more for Tony for? Do you remember the 2016 World Championship deck? Nope. It won, and it was Lanny Wolf, and it did not have a single Bolton character in it. Oh. Okay. That's not, not as fun. 
What did they bring in for Wolf then? Fast Eddie stuff. <laughs> Chuds, are you? Okay. Just good wolf stuff, but I don't know what Florian is doing. Oh, well, I thought I knew exactly what was coming in, but maybe he's doing something different. Ooh, what's going on here? So, Florian is doing an intrigue challenge with uh, Shay, and Hadley is um, has just played... Oh, which one is that? I never bet against my family. That's the one. Um, to get the bottom five cards of the deck, you look for a unique Lannister character, of which there are none. <laughs> So um, normally you can then choose that unique character to put them into play and they will stay into play until the end of the round, I believe. Um, no, sorry, end of the in phase. phase end yeah. of phase. Um, but unfortunately, Hadley's not found anything, which is really, really sucky because if you've got any more of those in his hands, he knows he's not going to hit anything, you know, unless he manages to shuffle his deck. So mm. he needs to play something like summons or um, something that goes and looks through his deck so he can shuffle that and uh, get a bit more of a chance of finding something the next time he plays. I never play against my family. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. So he's trying something else instead. He's going for a Hear Me Roar. And Florian just saying that you need to show the card before he decides if he wants to cancel it or not. So Hadley's going to try and put out Cersei there. Florian just deciding if it's going to go, and it is. So Cersei there coming out. And she's going to defend that challenge. Which, unless Florian's got some super duper tricks, he's going to win. Um, Florian passed his actions and then Hadley knelt the tower to bring Cersei back to hand but Florian said actually no wait actually I might want to do something so he had already passed his actions um, but then was sort of asking Hadley if a classic he could sign do of when you realise the consequences of what's going to happen you <laughs> yeah, suddenly think exactly. of something you can do to stop it <laughs> so um, you know Hadley was saying basically it's a charity event you know um, take your time if there's something you want to change change it and Florian... He's got a treachery. He's got gold to do it. Yeah, he's got treachery and he's got nightmares. So Florian said, you know, I did say I'd pass. And Hadley saying again, it's a charity event. If you want to, it's absolutely fine. So Florian... Basically, we can see he's got a nightmares or a treachery. So he just needs to decide which one he wants to use. So it looks like he's going to go for the nightmares before it happens. Maybe. Yeah, he's paying that gold. Yeah, so he's going to Nightmares the tower. So he's still got the treachery for later that he can use. So the tower hasn't been Nightmares. This means that Cersei, because she's put in with Hear Me Roar, is not going to be able to go back to Hadley's hand. She'll be discarded from play um, at the end of the phase. However, Hadley does still win this intrigue challenge. Yeah, that's not ideal for Hadley. Mm. But and this can happen. I'm sure he's running hand judgments in that. Because the whole core of his deck is to get Harren Hall and Tower of the Hand functioning smoothly. Mm. And to Hand Judgment is the one thing that can help protect that. Exactly. So military there coming through from Jamie. And Hadley designed... Coming to through from Jamie? Yeah. Jamie Lannister. Wow. Did a military non kneeling. How much is that for? Uh, five. And which... how much is Hadley defended for? Seven. Uh, yeah, Shagger and... Um... Is that the one actually? Stone Crows. Storm Crows, yeah. Storm Crows, sorry. Not Stone, Stone Crows. Crows. It could be the Storm Crows. <laughs> Who cares? They're clansmen. They Something don't deserve names. Lines. Don't be mean. They're human too, you know. Are they? Maybe. And for some reason, um, Flynn didn't do a power challenge. Didn't need to. No, but it could have gotten an opposed. So Florian there just taking Dom, and that means it's now 1-0 to Florin. but Florin definitely has a stronger board, although backboard-wise, Hadley's certainly got the setup that he's, uh, you know, been wanting, I guess. Seemed good. He's got some gold generation, and he's got the combo. Mm. I guess he needs to get play some money and get some cards on the board, perhaps. Or get a I don't know, else. I think Clansman decks, you don't really want to have too many cards on the board. You want to be bouncing them in and out of your hand. He, so, wants, he wants Tyrion out there. Yes, Tyrion out would be amazing. But against Jamie, Tywin, both duped, mm. you probably need to get that board down. Okay, so we've got building orders to a coppers. wondering what else Hadley wants from 
from his location. Is he for looking for something defensive like milks, or is he looking for another piece of his puzzle? I don't know. Did she happen to see what that was? Nope. Hmm. Not really sure. It looked like it had sort of like dark blue, bluey colours on the picture. I don't know. But Mountains of the moon, maybe? That would make sense. If there's characters jumping in and out, clansmen. Possibly Mountains of the moon. I may or may not remember him actually playing that at some point, so... <laughs> yeah, it could be that. So it could very well be that. <laughs> we'll see in a moment. Have you ever played against either of these guys? Um... Yes. <laughs> in a word. Um, but my memory of playing people, or my memory in general actually, is probably a better description, is absolutely horrific. So um, I don't remember particularly well. I'm pretty sure I played Hadley at Starlock in the melee. Really? And yeah. And I think I like might have accidentally on purpose screwed him over a little bit. <laughs> uh, you had a lot of casual games with Hadley and yeah, Daniel yeah. K and Matt Chandler. Yeah, so I think uh, I think this is Starlight really the first time that I properly spoke to Hadley, yeah. and I think I was excited about his name at that point as well. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard the name Hadley before. Really? Yeah, it's not a common name, is it? Not common, but it's not unheard of. No, it's one of those names you can have like a, you know, one of these posh country folk. <laughs> maybe it's, maybe it's Hadley a posh p- country folk. I don't know. Maybe like a farmer would name his child Hadley. Hadley, I if th- you're watching, can you please comment on if, whether or not you're a farmer? Is your daddy a farmer, Hadley? <laughs> Let us know. We want to know if your daddy's a farmer. <laughs> Did you ride a tractor when you were young? Oh, I rode a tractor when I was young. What? But not because my dad's a farmer. We were like, we, we managed to... <laughs> Are you going to tell us a story which is really bad? No, I'm not going to tell you a story. Because then you think I'm a weirdo. You are weird. Florian has marshaled the tickler and Harren Hall. Yeah. <laughs> Hadley's marshaled the Isle of Raven and... Oh, he's put Cersei back into his deck. And Mountains of the Moon? Mountains of the Moon. There you go. I told you I had blue on it. Thanks. You're welcome. Teamwork, honey. Yeah. Teamwork. That's what we got. I don't think I've ever played Hadley. If I have, I'm sorry. Did I've you not play him at Starlock? No. No? I didn't play many melee games. Oh, yeah. Starlick. You, like, buggered off at Starlick and was, like, sulking in a corner because I was having fun and you didn't want to. What that <laughs> actually means was I was upstairs watching the top 16, watching the top 8, watching the top 4. Yeah. Having fun. I was watching the top top quality game. I, I was I was involved in games. sub-quality games. Sub- <laughs> Sub-par. <clears throat> so, yeah, so I didn't really get involved. I was in socialising. It's far more important in these Game of Thrones events. <laughs> I it mean, is, I don't normally get good. to be involved in the cut unless I'm recording it, so, you know. <laughs> yeah, the socialising one of the best parts of Starlet. Yeah. I must admit, like, the... I was, like, a bit like, hmm, am I going to like Starlet? And then I went to Starlet and I was like, am I going to love Starlet? So, yeah. It was going to be a case of, let's just go to different events in different countries, like, a different one each year. But now I've been to Starlet and it's like, yeah, we're going to just have to go to keep... Keep going to Starlick. Hmm. So. <laughs> if you can get the ticket. Mm. But luckily, I work from home. So it's easy for me to get tickets. Yeah. What What is going on in this game? Nothing's happening. I don't understand who's doing what. Um, Florin likes to take his time thinking about his actions. So he's very, very good at asking about each individual action. But he likes to think a very long time about the actions that he is going to take. So sometimes there will be gaps in the thing where he is thinking. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I admit, I played Florian once before, and he takes a long time. Yeah. It's not, it's not great fun to play against, to be honest. But I never miss an action with Florian. <laughs> no, that is true. Because <laughs> he literally asks me every single action phase but if then I want to take an action. I never miss an action with Chris Sweeney and... He's really much quicker at the game. You don't have to take that much time. I mean, taking a lot of time is unnecessary. If you can't play the game at a good pace, Mm. then you need more practice at the game or you need to learn your deck better. Yeah, I must admit, I'm I'm generally slower if I don't know the deck well. Yeah, there are some scenarios where it's a really difficult decision to make. Mm. 
That's so, going to make or break the game. <laughs> it's just a quick look at the board. So um, an injury ca- challenge came in from Shay again. Um, Hadley put Jamie into play using Harren Hall. Uh, tried to bring him back to hand when he won with the Tower of the Hand. However, Florian used that um, tre- treachery that we saw earlier to yeah. stop that from happening. So Jamie's going to stay on the board and die at the end of this phase. Hopefully, Haddis got Ghost of Harren Hall in his hand and can just play that and put Jamie back into play at the beginning of next round. So long as there's no military claim and stuff. Actually, no, that doesn't even matter, does it? Because military claim would happen and then Jamie would go into the dead parlour like, later. At the end of the round, yeah. yeah. So yeah, so, you know, um, Haddis should be fine to just use Ghost of Harren Hall to put Jamie back into play if he's got it. Hopefully he does. You'd assume he does. You you sure you normally do in these decks, right? In the Harren Hall, Hall, Hall deck, you can play it. You can also play close call, whichever you prefer. Mm. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if he did. Yeah, I feel like it's a, a normal inclusion into the clansman deck. Yeah, because the board's not as good as Florian's. I mean, we've had sixteen minutes of game and it's one power to zero. <laughs> I feel like, ah. Oh. Are you eating a cucumber? <laughs> but we're supposed to be commentating, please. There's yeah, cucumber in my pins, alright? I'm near the bottom. I get to eat all the fruit and bits. Oh, you're so unashamedly middle class sometimes. <laughs> my pins, they have a cucumber in my pins. <laughs> your pims is filled. How, how come you get all the strawberries and raspberries in your pims and I got bloody cucumbers? I feel like I've been, you know, mugged off a bit here. Let's focus on the game. Well, there's nothing happening, so it's fine. Okay, my pims is awesome. <laughs> I might need a top up for the end of this game, actually. There's none left. Yes, there is. There is none left. Have we finished two jugs? Yes. Oh shit. Okay. There's a military coming in from Jamie. Ooh. <laughs> Not kneeling. See, Hadley's drinking too. Hadley's on the beer. Although, admittedly, this They're is both like on the beer. two or three weeks ago now. Oh, he's flying drinking too. Yeah, I saw him with the beer. I think we're at the point in the day where it's okay to be drinking. And it's a charity jazz. I think a lot of them were drinking from the beginning. Yeah. (laughs) The the tournament was in a pub, so um, it was really nice and convenient to just go downstairs, grab a few beers, come back up. In fact, one of the achievements was to buy a beer at the bar. I'm pretty sure that it's because there was like some kind of you need to buy this many beers at the bar to help cover your costs or something kind of thing going on. It's good that. you know, it was a good way of getting achievements. We ended up eating there. <laughs> we ended up eating lunch there and dinner there in the Yeah, evening. we did actually. The food weren't too bad. And the football was on. They had football on. Yeah, didn't you like drop because you wanted to go watch the bloody football? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. <laughs> Weirdo. You and your bloody football. Unless there's no games on that you can be like, oh, I want to watch the game. I'm a commentating. There are no games on, right? What? There are no games on right now that you're like secretly wanting to watch, right? No, it's Monday. There, there, there is no football. Ah, oh. it was yesterday. That's a shame, honey. Yeah. I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> so, um, end of the round then. I'm being tapped. Um, <laughs> end of the round. Jamie's gone in dead pile. Um, I think Florin there took Dom, and we are back onto plots. Florian clearly in control on the board. Most definitely, yeah. But if there was something able to wipe but both what boards... what would you do, though? Maybe, like, a... I mean, even Wildfire wouldn't help much. Not really. But, you know, if there was a, a Valar D, perhaps... That would hurt hardly more than Florian, though. Valar D? Oh, sorry, not Valar D. I was thinking of Valar M. Yeah, Valar D might help if he runs it. Mm. He probably should run it um, in Red Door. But because it's that... Oh, wow. Yeah, because it's kind of... um, You start from behind with the House of the Red Door. Mm. You have a a smaller setup in favour of having something extra on your backboard. Yeah. Which means if you and your opponent both play similar plots, your opponent will be ahead of you on the board, generally. And especially as we've got Famine here to counting coppers. That's pretty Mm. mean. That's very mean. Hadley's not got that much econ. He's got a lot of locations, but only one of those is econ, I think. You know what we've got? We've got Isle of Ravens, Mountains from the Moon, Harren Hall. Um, what's the next one along? Mine Blonde. Gates of the Moon? 
Okay, so the moon is there. Um, and then Tower of the Hand and Street of Sil? I will show you that Shadow Black Lane. You are probably right. <laughs> I know it's one of those. <laughs> so the thing with playing Famine here, Hadley is probably one of Ooh, the... the bottom, okay. Yeah, he probably least affected by this than most players. Mm. Because... He, he can have burned men. He's now got a flea bottom, but nothing in the discard pile. He's um, he got Howen Hall. We know he runs Never Bet Against My Family and uh, Hear Me Roar. All ways which circumvent the downside of Famine. Mm. Yeah, I think um, Famine shouldn't be too big a thing for, for Hadley here, so long as he's got all of those bouncing in and out events. Especially just in coppers as well, so he should have a few things in hand that will help him to get things on the board. I mean, looking at the game at the moment, you say Hadley pretty fucked. Like, <laughs> he's not going to... And now we've got Bran on the board, which is going to... Although, the game's like another half an hour, so... That could just be flowing and thinking about an action. <laughs> a single action. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I can't really see how Hadley's going to come back. Unless he plays the Valadi. I was going to say, he needs some kind of board but, wipe to But that's to do still it. going to leave him with a tie win. Mm. With a lot of dupes. I'd also like to point out that Florence has played at a Bran here, which yeah. in Hadley's style of deck, you do not want to be seeing. That um. little silver bullet, which hurts him a lot. Mm. Yeah, not the, uh, not the ideal. But Hadley's uh, challenges here. I was really happy when I heard about Hadley's deck because I like the clansman jumping decks. So I was really hoping that we we're going to get good clansman shit going on. Good clansman shit. <laughs> yeah. That's a technical term, honey. You should know this by now. <laughs> good clansman shit. Right. There's a hand waving going on. Yeah, I'm hoping Hadley can, you know, get everything out. I'm not that confident. No? Not really, no. Yeah. Bran's going to do something if an event comes out. Mm-hmm. So what's he going to do? Get a burn men? Harren Horn in something? Well, he's got like, what, three, four gold? It must be three gold because he played a flea bottom, didn't he? Janos. Oh, so Harren Horn for Janos. Uh, Fran is just debating whether or not he wants to treachery with the treachery he may or may not have. Please tell me this is the game. Is the this game? the game where Hadley did the thing? What was the thing? I don't know. I don't want to ruin it in case this is the game. Or he played trade routes. No, I don't think this is the game. There was a game in this tournament <laughs> where Hadley played trade route, didn't spend any of it. Mm. Then he Harren hauled in Janos Flint, spent every single gold on Janos Flint so he could do a challenge and win it by 30 strength <laughs> just for one of the achievements. That's amazing. <laughs> he spent his entire 20 gold on Janos. No, I don't think it was this game. <laughs> but that, that's amazing. I forgot about that happening. Oh, I totally missed out not getting that. That's brilliant. <laughs> yeah, one of the achievements was to win a challenge by 30 strength. And yeah, I remember that actually. So yeah, saved all his gold from trade routes. I'm really sad we didn't get that on camera. I'm sorry. Do you know which round it was? Round three, four? Oh. No, this is round four. So it must have been yeah, round three. Yeah, this is three. four. Yeah, I was... Because I, I was going to put Hadley on round three and then I didn't in the end. Well. <laughs> No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> well, no, I think... Um, oh, I can't remember who was round three now. We've already done round three. Who was the last round we put out? You don't remember either. <laughs> but anyway, whoever the last round was out, we uh, we thought they would be a really good game to record. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Hadley got uh, bumped to round four. I'm sorry, Hadley. Hadley got the Moon Brothers out. He does. So, um, a challenge there with uh, Shaga and um, putting out the Moon Brothers to participate with. Simon versus Alex Afeeworth. Ah. It's been so long since we recorded it. Yeah, to be fair, the tournament was on uh, April 14th. Yep. So, yeah, it's taken us a little while to get these videos out. We had to finish off the other tournament we were at as well. So, um, what was that, Older Shark, Reading? Mm. Reading, wasn't it? Reading yeah. was the last one we recorded. Did you... Are we going to record Euros, Rebecca? You've asked me this already on camera. And are we? Uh, hopefully, yes. But I need to message Liam and ask if it's okay. 
<laughs> so, people, why do you think she <clears> hadn't <throat> messaged Liam yet? Because I'm an, an organised person. <laughs> okay, I'll ask her next time, people, all right. Should I message him now? Is yeah. that what you're after? Definitely do it now. Fine, you commentate. But there's nothing happening. Well, that's there fine. There was the Moon Brother that came in and did a thing, and now some other people are now, and things are happening. And now Florian's kneeling Tywin, maybe. Possibly not. He's going to think about it a bit. But then he's going to kneel Tywin. He is. And Shay. So, yep, defending against Hadley's intrigue challenge. With a lot of strength. Going to get Renown out of it. And he's okay. still got the money to stand Shay. I have messaged Liam. It's happening right now, guys. Although, technically, the amount of time that it takes for bloody YouTube to upload these videos, this is probably going to be, like, about eight hours ago that this is actually happening it right now. It don't matter. I hope we've got an answer <clears> by the <throat> end of the video. Hopefully. It does say he's active now. So, if he doesn't reply, then he's, like, deliberately ignoring me. Busted. A bastard. Yeah, we can out him on yeah. the channel. Yeah, yeah. Liam Hall, Live terrible on human. Video. Or fantastic <laughs> human. Yeah, depends what he says, right? <laughs> Indeed. Okay, I'm gonna. I need to leave my phone where it's visible, so you can see. He's active now, but he's not seen the message yet. Cool. So I'm being ignored. Thanks for the update. <laughs> Let's update us on the board. Has anything happened? There's no challenges happening right now. No, Tyron and Shay defended an intrigue challenge. Tyron took a renown. That's exciting. That that yeah, that's it. I wonder if uh, Hadley has passed challenge. Um, I would guess so. Because he's already done a military, plus the intrigue, and he doesn't have the power icon to do with. Well, he would have gated the moon, moon Brothers, right? Yeah. Although I think he's trying to win the intrigue with that, wasn't he? So he can return someone back to hand. Maybe. Maybe. Because surely he'll be wanting to return Janos back to hand. Yeah, but Tywin. Ooh, I was right! Not the Botleys, but the Boltons! Boltons are in play. Well, bloody for you. Yeah, you're just jealous because I'm always right. So, Harren Hall, Roose Bolton, he's going to fuck shit up. So whatever challenge he does, he's probably going to win. And then he's going to be like, Baha! Kill all the people that are accumulative for strength. To be fair, he's really actually quite good against Janos. Why? Because Janos is only two strengths. You can get a mileage out of Oh, him. really? Oh, shit. If only you had the Widow's Whale to jump in and put on Roos. Then you can get rid of Shagger and Janos. Oh, hear me roar, Cersei? No, Bran. <laughs> Oh well, that failed. So, um, we've got the intrigue coming through from Roos. Cersei was attempted to be thrown in and told, no, fuck off. Um, so, Hadley's probably going to be like this going opposed, looks like. Yeah, so triggering Roos. Sack to kill. Yeah, who's he going to kill? Moon Brothers? Moon Brothers. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Are the Storm Crows not full strength or lower? They're three. Oh, so could have killed the standing ones, right? Could have. Oh, hello, what's going on here? What's that? When a clansman dies, something happens? I think that's the Black Ears. I don't think I've ever seen them played. It might be something like... Oh, look at that claim! <laughs> well, that hurty. Ouch! Mountain Antirian! Yeah, I think the black ears is when someone dies, maybe you pay two gold and they come into play from your hand. Oh, yeah, his gold is gone. That's probably what it is. So, immediately using Anna Ravens there to shuffle Tyrion back in, but that's that is some claim. What? I'd be crying on the inside if I was Hadley. In fact, I'd be crying so hard on the inside, I'd probably be crying on the outside, quite frankly. That makes sense. Well, that Hadley. makes a lot of sense. Really? You, you do quite a lot. <laughs> Occasionally, slightly, minutely, maybe. I'm surprised you didn't cry when I beat you earlier. <sighs> I, was, I was already drunk by that point, so I don't really care. Yeah, good point. <laughs> so, yeah. So, famine's doing some work. All that good 
to claim goodness. Mm. So, so I think the black here, the four strength, and the stone quarry, the three strength. So why didn't Vion do the military with Jamie and the Tickler? You obviously think the Tickler's you know, important. Yeah, wants to use a Tickler by... You want to bit. tickle something off the board, but he's tickled Pycelle. Okay, and standing. So, I mean, <laughs> this is storming away from Hadley here, really, isn't it? 9-0. But then still, there's like 20 odd minutes left. It's, I don't know. It doesn't take 20 minutes to get six power, right? No, so maybe Hadley comes back. I hope so. Even if it's just because I like his name. Oh, he's playing trade routes. Maybe it's sister game. Oh, no, Janos died, didn't he? Janos, he did. Oh, that's not as fun. Okay. So, how does getting, like... One million gold. gold. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one million gold. Um, plus, you know, anything else he wants to happen to have. My phone is buzzing, but it's not Liam replying. He's active, but he's still not seeing the message. What a scumbag. He's what purposely scumbag ignoring you. He is. Should I, like, send him an extra message? Should no. Should I message him and say, you scumbag? No, just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Let our, uh, you know, he's been forever shamed on our channel. <sighs> he couldn't, you know, all he had to do is be a respectable human being and ignore everything else that he's probably busy doing. Yeah, I know. How dare he have a life outside of replying to my messages, right? That is... That is terrible. <laughs> okay, so first player then is Florin again. Oh, the other chat group is chatting. Stop buzzing. I don't want to hear your buzzes. I want to hear Liam's buzz. That's a little weird. Oh, yeah, I'm concerned. <laughs> um, we have some first snow. Oh, yeah, we do. That's going to be really mean to Hadley. Well, it's going to leave Florian with only two characters on the board, although they will be heavily duped. I was going to say, the two characters he's going to have left on the board... So I guess I what he would be concern. concerned about is losing the burned men or whatever he ambushes in, mm. and then get one of them gets marched. Yeah, yeah, I guess that would make sense. But I think Florian's probably going to just march something big, right? He's got loads of gold. <coughs> Are we waiting on someone? Um, we're waiting on flying to Marsh or something. Okay. So yes, we're waiting on someone. So. Thrilling match. What do you think of the uh, pedestrianisation of the Norwich City Centre? Well, actually, now that you said that. <laughs> If anyone gets that reference, it, I love you. Is it Alan Partridge? <laughs> oh, no, don't tell them. Is it? Are you spoiled for it? Yes, it is. Well, I didn't know, so... Yes, you I've did, because really I've told guess. you this. I've had this discussion with you before. You're such a nerd. There's this, There's a show, um, Alan Partridge, and in, in one of the episodes, he's like... He's, he's doing the naughties of this woman. What? <laughs> I know, right? And uh, he's trying not to, you know, finish the show too soon. Where are the guys gone? Where have they gone? Where, what the fuck? The players have happen? walked away. I don't remember this happening. <laughs> On the back, it's fine. <laughs> oh, it must have been an achievement. I totally missed this. But anyway, and he's trying not to end the show too soon. And so he starts talking to the woman about, you know, what she thinks about the pedestrianisation of the Norwich City Centre. And what did, you, did she think about the pedestrianisation of the Norwich City Centre? I, I don't really remember. I was too busy laughing, I think, at the time. We played a regional in Norwich last year, and I thought the pedestrianisation was kind of cool. I really liked Norwich, actually. I thought it was a very pretty place. There was a church with a very nice little antique thing and in it. I don't know about that, but they had a sandwich shop and it did a nice sandwich, so I like Norwich. I totally don't remember this bit happening. <laughs> Is that a judge query? Maybe. I think it's an achievement because he was holding his achievement sheet. I don't know. I must have skipped this bit. I was getting a bit bored, so I was skipping past bits where I thought I wasn't needed. <laughs> I was like, I don't need to watch this bit. I'll skip a little bit. So I think I missed the part where they're just wandering off around the room. 
Hmm. Maybe it's an achievement. Could it be the um, the keywords one? Maybe. I don't know. It's definitely an achievement. Look at him. He's on the sheet. And it's a one-pointer. Oh, I don't know which one that is. I'm sorry, guys. I a one-pointer? You don't even need the judges for your one-pointer. You no. can sign it off yourself. <clears throat> Gosh. Flying just wanted to show off that he got, a, got an achievement. Mm, maybe. Definitely. You know what? Cover me, honey. I'm going to Google which achievement it was. I can't I'm clean my glasses. No, you need to. You need to cover me. This I can't even a, see the screen right but now. But this is this has already been determined. You're covering while I while I Google. Okay. Um, I assuming Florian hasn't marshaled yet. Uh, no. It's oh, it's a first snow. First snow is happening already. What? Neither the marshaled. Apparently not. Oh, in fact, that's what it is. Pass marshalling without any actions. That's an achievement. Is it? Yeah. Fantastic. See, totally on the ball. Amazing. Yeah, you're just impressed with my amazingness, I can tell. Yeah. I'd also really love to, to tell everyone actually something. So the video paused, right, which it does sometimes. We have to like stop the commentary when we start it. And Richard here was being an absolute asshole for like a minute. And I didn't realise that the video had stopped because I was Googling these bloody achievements. And then he was like being really, really mean. And then I was like, oh, you little shit. The video stopped. It's but she's been so polite about it. I know. I'm a polite person normally. She thought the video was still rolling. Yeah. So, anyway. What a dick. We got a hound. What a dick. We got a hound. Yeah, but I need to just emphasise what a dick. We got a hound. Meme's not replied yet. He's a dick too. And he's still active. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, other people are talking though. That's nice. We have a hound. Finally, she decided to talk about what I said <laughs> half a minute ago. I thought I'd join in for you. <laughs> you're, just, you're rambling now. I think I think you've had a few too many. Would you like me to finish off this video on my on my own? No, it's okay. I could, I'll, I'll just sit here and you know join in. You're not I think Howen Hall is creating a lot of analysis paralysis. You like that phrase for possibly Florian. <gasps> He's no longer active. He was active two minutes ago. He's gone offline without looking at the message. Carolina's away. <laughs> Analysis paralysis, you were saying? Yes? No? What? I can't hear what you're saying because you're. Analysis paralysis is what you were saying? What about it? You, you, that's what you were talking about? Yeah, I mentioned those words. What about it? <laughs> mm -hmm. I was I was trying to prompt you to continue talking. Oh well, no, there's no need. There's nothing happening. Uh, One of them need to make a paralysis? decision to do something, and I think it's Florian because he's the first player. It is. He's uh, he's put in the hound, and is now considering his next move. Yeah, see, Florian is impossibly slow. This is, I, I mean, I played against him once. I don't like it. I didn't like it. He was just really slow. Mm. We didn't even get to the seventh plot. So, and this is why <laughs> he just takes so long. <laughs> what plot are they on now? Like, what, four? Five? On plot five. Plot five. That's not too bad. That's all right after, what, 40 minutes? Ish? Yeah, it's not too bad, but it could be better. Hmm. But, you know, he's taking uh, too long. If this is a normal tournament, you start calling a judge over, don't you, for slow play. Yeah, I must admit, this it, it has been a little while since he said anything. <laughs> but oh, here yeah. we go, we're doing something. So Ramsey's coming in, um, sacrificing himself, and that means that... Oh, one of those clansmen dudes are going. But Cersei is still on the board. But I guess that's a bit more man manageable for Florin. Well, quite frankly, I don't know what could have defeated nine strength Tywin. <laughs> so, Florence now pretty open to doing pretty much whatever challenge he wants. He can do his unkneeling military with Jamie. I mean, Hadley does have obviously the um, Heron Hall and, and Tower of the Hand. <clears throat> he also has a nice amount of gold. So, he could be able to, um, you know. Stay flowing off a bit. And looks like we're going to go for military 
Yeah, you need to kneel the hound. Yeah, you go. <laughs> then I drew the hound on Jamie for 11 there. So is he worried that Hadley has a mountain? Maybe. I mean, he has seen the mountain already. Does he have put to the sword? He doesn't need it. But it maybe he wants it in it? case someone gets Hound Horde in to take the claim for Cersei. Then he can put Cersei to the sword and still take the claim. Yeah, I mean, you'd assume that Hadley's going to either Hound Horde someone in or has something like Burn Men, as he mentioned earlier. He can flea bottom something now, I think. Oh, yeah, because that dude that was um, Although I think he sacrificed. Put... Yeah, that... I think he's forecast. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Four for four. But Hadley does have a lot of leftover gold from the trade routes. So you'd hope that he can do something here. And yeah, he's going to pay some gold. I didn't quite see how much that was. I'm going to assume it was two gold. <laughs> to ambush in the burn men. And using them to defend. So it's not unopposed. But we are still going to get the military claim, obviously. And renown for Jamie. Unless Florin here has got any other actions he wants to do. So yeah, forced reaction first. The hound's going back to hand. How much gold does Florian have? I think Florian's got three there. He would have collected three for the plot, four road road, five for the gates. Did he marshal the hound? Or no, hound he hound wouldn't in? have. Yeah. No, he didn't Hound Hall him in. He used Hound Hall on Ramsey. Oh, so he must he have must paid... Have marshaled the hound. No, he can't have, because it's first snow. Oh, yeah. So he would have um, ambushed the Hound in. So, yeah, so he'd have <clears> seven <throat> gold with, with Tywin. So, yeah, jumped in yeah, the Hound. Yeah, that makes sense. And then he'd have three, three left. Gold left. Sounds right. Okay, so Cersei's still standing. I think if I was Hadley, I'd probably want to leave her standing and try and get that um, yeah, non-kneeling entry back. But I guess it depends on what Florin does here. Would you do another challenge if you were Florin? What would I do? Um, I mean, Tywin's going to win pretty much whatever he wants, right? You don't want to do... I guess you don't really want to do an intrigue at Cersei in case she defends it and then towers herself back. Yeah. I guess it also depends if Florin's got the, um, the nightmares or the uh, treachery. Oh, we've had a reply! Have we? We've had a reply. Right, right, okay. From Liam. Yeah? Yeah. I take it back, Liam. You're a fantastic person. He says, can't see why not. There you go. You mean he was looking for a reason why not? But he just couldn't find one. Possibly. What a scumbag. <laughs> Don't be a dick. <laughs> so yes... Unless I decide that I'm being lazy and don't want to record, yes, Richard, we will be recording Euros. I mean, it is a lot of hassle running around and setting up the camera between game. I assume because How would I've you never know? done. It. <laughs> but I don't want you to be under stress when you're winning all these games with, you know, Night's Watch Wall, and then you're running in between there to set up the camera. Maybe you could just leave it at table one, but then that could mean you just get Tyrell game after Tyrell game, which would be sad. Ugh. Yeah, it's a bit lame. But. We'll wing it. We've got the opportunity. You know, if it's top table, it's top table. At least we're seeing top quality games. Has Florin gone again? No. Oh, it's just like, it's getting into shade now. It's getting into evening, so it's all getting dark. Oh, it's a bit creepy almost. It's like the table's illuminated, but everything around it's black. What's like Pycelle doing? Mm -hmm. How did Pycelle get there? He was discarded for intrigue claim several times rounds ago so I'm assuming he was flea bottomed in ah, despite go. the fact that Hadley hasn't knelt his flea bottom I can say it doesn't help the commentator I guess but whatever I'm so sure. Hadley's brought Cersei back to hand to send Jamie Stoop back to hand yep that's an interesting choice maybe he has a Valar and Pycel went down the board so the board would be blank at least he can kill her, Jamie. Get some renown gone. Yeah. Slow the game down. Slow it down even more. Yeah, I mean, Hadley might be able to get a power this game. I mean, that power would be something of an achievement. Has he had a power yet? I don't think he has. <laughs> <laughs> <Poor sod. laughs> He's got a 
Bernie man coming in from Florian. Ooh. Ah, to stop the march. To stop the march. Because you don't want to lose all your renown and stuff. Indeed. So far, it looks like we might be the only people recording at Euros, unless Liam decides to take his equipment with him. So I guess that means we get priority, right? <laughs> Maybe. I think we got table two last year, didn't we? Well, there were three of us. There were us, Liam, and Knight of the Blackwater, mm. who is now, unfortunately, left the game. Boo. Liam has also stopped recording, so I guess we are the only UK podcast, yeah. video car, whatever car. <laughs> so, yeah, Sorry, I mean, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm quite looking forward to commentating Euros and seeing what happened there. Yeah, well, last year we got some really good games, didn't we? You did. Some really fun ones. Hmm. I was evidently totally not paying attention to some of this bits because I did not see this achievement. He reminded an opponent of a missed trigger. Oh, is that what it was? That's what oh, has so it already come up? Oh, okay, no, cool. I was just not looking at the screen when I'm commentary, commentating, apparently. That's fine. It's fine. I mean... Despite these two players trying hard, it's not a, a, a great game, is it? It's not a close game. And that makes your mind wander. <laughs> yeah. has nothing to do with the fact that I've had a whole jug of pims, at least. Nothing to do with that? No. So, yeah, what what the next game after this? It's me! Yeah. I'm in the next game! You just hit me. Well, I, was, I wasn't I was hitting, it was tapping excitedly. Okay, so you're in the next game. Who are you against? I am against George. Is this King of Swiss? Um, no. <laughs> okay. George, is that George Ankers? It's George Jankers, yeah. Janky George, old mother George, old yeah, mother Jankers. exactly. Wow. It's fun. Both playing your achievement decks yeah, so for bas- Jank. So basically, it was a choice between... Do we record the people that are playing well or do we record the people that are doing well at jank? And I was doing well at the jank stuff. So I thought, oh, well, at least I can like give some insight into my game if it's my game. And also, George Jankers is doing very well with his and we happen to be paired against each other. And it's like, hmm, this could be a really good game to record. Let's record that. So that's what I did. Thanks for the history lesson. You're welcome. Because then, of course, we had the cut and whatnot. So, you know, they were the actual, like, the, the good players good the, the try try hard no, try hard players i'm sure there are some achievement players who got into the top eight because they were good at both like me there was no one that got what do you mean like you you were literally last what do you mean you were literally last in the achievement that's only because like we said before i got angry and screwed up my sheet because... that's because you're grumple stilt skin <laughs> what the hell <laughs> <laughs> what did she just call me you had <laughs> Oh, look, Harry's got some power. Holy shit. Nice. There we go. Harry's got it. He's going to win. I don't even know what happened. I think he got an unopposed power. That would make sense. Okay. So I would like to point out the time has been called. <laughs> Jesus. Um, so this is basically the end of the game. Florian has basically won. Time has been called. Uh, however, I don't think the players have realised. Really? <laughs> yep. Because guess what? What? <laughs> they start another round. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. How can time have been called? It's only been 49 minutes. Um. Yeah, remember Florian turned up like half an hour later than everyone else. Well, not really half an hour, but he like disappeared. And oh, was this really, the really game late. where he was late? Yeah, this was the game where like, yeah, he was very late. <laughs> Um, so Hadley is using his Isle of Ravens here to shuffle Florin's events back into his deck. Which seems weird, considering it's a Nightmares and a Treason, but makes sense when he plays his next plot. Which, you know, it them thinking it's not the end of the round, um, or end of the game even, uh, makes sense. Can you guess what he's going to play? No. He shuffled Florin's events back into his deck using Isle of Ravens. So what's Hadley going to play? Don't know. Are you serious? 
I wasn't listening. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, Hadley <laughs> is shuff- like using all the ravens to shuffle the events back into Florin's deck. All right. So what do you think Hadley's about to play? I don't know. Anals of Castle Black. Exactly. I think that's a really good move. So before you play Annals, make sure all of your opponent's events are shuffled back into their deck and then play Annals. Yes, I, I was quite impressed with that. I was thinking, why the fuck is he just, like shuffling these events back into his opponent's deck? That's a really stupid move. Well, that's nice. <laughs> I thought, oh, maybe he's just doing it because it's an event thing and, it, you know, it's a charity event and he just wants to piss about because he knows he's lost a day. <laughs> but what if he wins now? <laughs> He wins in the next two minutes when, you know, the game has actually already finished because time's be, been called. That would be amazing. <laughs> we could have some controversy. We could drum up some cheating controversy. Could we? Oh, okay. So, um, <laughs> yeah, you can even just about see Hadley's plot in his hand. It's like, annals. It's a good choice after He's doing like, what's done. Come on, done. Florian. You've got, what, two plots? Three plots? Yeah, three plots to choose from. So yeah, so they've only had four plots. Christ. I told you. This is bad. It's bad. <laughs> How are you supposed to play a game in four plots with neither player playing Rush? Hmm. Bad. It is quite slow. Okay, March to, as we said, Annals. So Hadley's marching there, Shagger. Oh, no. Yes, no. <laughs> Debating. No, okay, he's going to go with the... Uh, um... Oh, what are those things called again? Hmm? What are those things called again? Stone crows. Something like that. Something like that. And um, very... The crows are... Like... Um... Ambiguous names. Yeah. <laughs> and very obviously, uh, we've got the um, burn men done there oh, wow, and wow. yeah this is when Joe's like hey time's running called you guys need to stop and they're like oh right sorry about that so what? then they stop and that's, I'm so confused I know that's the end of the game sorry it's a bit lame wasn't it yes but it's fine because it's me and George next yay and it's going to be fucking awesome I like George I like George too and you're alright I guess yeah I'm acceptable wow this is cool extent. I look forward to that yeah maybe so it'll anyway, be a good game let's round it off goodbye so thanks everyone for watching if you'd like to support us you can do so at patreon.com forward slash whitewalkers that too see you next time and goodbye bye guys goodbye bye goodbye <laughs>